Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side, Chief. It was coming back from the island of Tinia Talidi, just over the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb. Eleven hundred men went into the water. The vessel went down in twelve minutes. Didn't see our first shot for about half an hour. Tiger, thirteen footer. You know how you know when you're in the water, Chief? You tell by looking from the dorsal to the tail. What we didn't know was our bomb mission had been so secret, no distress signal to be sent. <laughs> they didn't even list us as overdue for a week. Very first light, Chief, the sharks came cruising. So we formed ourselves into tight groups. You know, it's like a Old squares in a battle, like you see in a calendar, like the Battle of Waterloo. And the idea was the sharks come into the nearest man, and that man, he'd start a pounding and a hollering and a screaming. Sometimes a shark would go away. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. Sometimes that shark, he looks right into you. Right into your eyes. You know the thing about a shark? He's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes. Like a doll's eyes. When he comes at you, doesn't seem to be living. Until he bites you, and those black eyes roll over white. And then, and then you hear the high-pitched screaming. And the ocean turns red. In spite of all the pounding and the hollering, they all come in and rip you to pieces. You know, by the first dawn, lost a hundred men. I don't know how many sharks, maybe a thousand. I know how many men. They averaged six an hour. On Thursday morning, Chief, I bumped into a friend of mine, Herbie Robinson, from Cleveland, baseball player, boatswain's mate. I thought he was asleep. Reached over to wake him up. Bobbed up and down in the water, like a kind of top. Upended. Where? He'd been bitten in half below the waist. Noon the fifth day, Mr. Hooper. A Lockheed Ventura saw us. He swung in low, and he saw us. A young pilot... A lot younger than Mr. Hooper. Anyway, he saw us and came in low. Three hours later, a big fat PBY came down and started to pick us up. You know, that was the time I was most frightened. Waiting for my turn. I'll never put a life jacket on again. So, 1,100 men went into the water. Three hundred and sixteen men came out. The sharks took the rest. June the 29th, 1945. Anyway, we delivered the bomb. 